migrants coming into the city becomes a humanitarian crisis. More than 17,000 asylum seekers have been bused directly to New York City from Texas. The mayor warns the city will spend at least $1 billion caring for them all, which will drain the city's resources. Eyewitness News reporter Stefan Kim is live at City Hall with a story. Stefan? Well, Shirlene and David, the city shelter system is at its breaking point, and we need help from the state and the feds. That is the message from Mayor Adams as he declared a state of emergency and issued an executive order. It would direct all agencies to coordinate construction of migrant tent cities or humanitarian relief centers. It would also clear some red tape to expedite that process. The shelter system is setting new daily records amid the unyielding arrival of asylum seekers bused from Texas and elsewhere. More than 17,000 asylum seekers have been bused the city. Five or six buses arrive every day. The mayor expects the city will have to spend one billion dollars by the end of the fiscal year. He says this is unsustainable. Of the 61,000 people in shelters, 20,000 are children. One out of five is an asylum seeker. 5,500 migrant children have been enrolled in city schools. The mayor is appealing to hotels for temporary housing and to religious groups to adopt a shelter and provide assistance, something the city council proposed this week as it objected to the migrant tent city being moved to Randall's Island, citing the same concerns it had with Orchard Beach, inaccessible by mass transit and flown to pro flood, flood prone. Excuse me. As for the buses of migrants arriving daily, the mayor says the city's compassion is being, quote, exploited by others for political gain. New Yorkers are angry. I am angry too. We have not asked for this. There was never any agreement to take on the job of supporting thousands of asylum seekers. This responsibility was simply handed to us without warning as buses began showing up. There's no playbook for this, no precedent. But despite all this, our city's response has been nothing short of heroic. Now, the mayor is also announcing a partnership that will allow New Yorkers to host asylum seekers. And in the weeks ahead, there will be a plan to fast-track long-term unhoused New Yorkers into permanent housing. He's asking the feds for a, quote, decompression strategy at the border. The mayor is also asking the private sector for donations. As for the city council proposal on using vacant hotels to house these mig asylum seekers, he's asking the city council, quote, where is that list of hotels? So much to unpack here, much more later today. Reporting live at City Hall, Safan Kim, Channel 7, Eyewitness News.